Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 16 of my full platinum walkthrough for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Hopefully you've just beaten the Owl Father and it was completely fine and you did it first time, hopefully. <laughs> but that's exactly where we are. Uh, I'm just going to look at the skills, we've not done this for a while. Um, you've been able to do skills however you want, I did save a while back to do them however you like at this point. Uh, but there are some decent ones, there's those two there which are worth grabbing because they help with posture damage, this one in particular. Um, I'm actually going to go for, I'm not going to go for this one, I think I'll show you in a moment, or maybe not. There's one that's to do with farming where you get more items, which I will actually go for, which is here, this one. So Virtuous Deed I'm going to go for which gives you more money and uh, better item drops because we will be farming later and more money now is good. You shouldn't be struggling. If you are struggling with damage and things like that, and obviously go for those ones. And uh, yeah, we're going to head to Fountain Palace and we're going to do this area. You can see this is a, a longer video. We're going to do it all in one go. There's a lot to do. Um, Boss-wise, there isn't too much. Not difficulty-wise. We've, done, we've done this one at the beginning and then you go out into the main area. There's a novelty type boss where we don't actually have to uh, uh, fight them. Uh, there's a couple of mini bosses. There's a headless underwater. Uh, apart from that, not really much to worry about, I think. Yeah, apart from the main enemies in this area, which can be a real pain in the ass if you don't do this properly. This is a more of a stealth area, especially at the start here. Uh, than anything else, so don't let these guys see you, just don't take them on. Uh, you can actually run at him, you could go around this corner and run at him and you'd be fine. But, but getting spot spotted from a distance by these guys is not fun. They sort of trap you and kill you very quickly, it's kind of weird. Uh, maybe do a backup save and see what it's like it, to get a feel for them first. Uh, I'm not going to go and do it because it's horrible. Uh, but you're going to get bite down later on, which shows you kind of, uh, yeah, this, it's better to kill yourself than <laughs> uh, take these guys on. But do it slowly. Stealth is best. Uh, there are enemies on the roof as well, so don't go too wide at this point. Go for this one. There's one round here. You can hear them because they're on their little uh, flute things. I'm sure they have uh, a Japanese name. I'm being ignorant and don't know. Uh, but yeah. You'll hear them before you see them most of the time. So there's two in here. They are very easy to kill if you just take them head on as well. You know, a couple of hits and they're dead. Uh, it's the fact that they can stun you and kill you very quickly. That's the problem. So up here, I'm just going to get some light coin purse here. And there are a couple of enemies there in the distance you can see. We'll do those afterwards. We're going to go onto the rooftops first. So there are new uh, enemies all over this place that we haven't done. Well, we've kind of done those ones, the blue ones. It's the one that we killed, the one with all the fog uh, that we killed. It was one of those. But we're going to come around and get this uh, bouncy samurai type. <laughs> Another new enemy. I don't want to drop down. I'm trying to collect the items. Let's jump across and then up. And there's a couple up here on the roof as well. There's one to the left. Uh, they're not too bad the archers are fine these ones there's one over here as well there's actually I think there's another one to the left uh, the they have a bit of a rhythm to when, when you fight them with a sword as well uh, we're not going to be doing it just yet there's one behind me on a bridge then you'll uh, you'll see they're not bad there's no particularly difficult enemies in this area no Nothing new that's going to really bother you. Uh, you've got a couple down here. This isn't really worth it. You don't need to do this bit. Unless you just want the uh, Amiibo Balloon of Wealth. Which you probably don't. Or maybe the XP and the uh, the Sen. Then you can do it. But the pathing's a bit off here. Yeah, I'm committed at this point. I thought, oh, shall I leave it? No, we're committed. Yeah, this one's moving quicker than the other one. So I'm going to wait. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for them to meet in the middle and do blood smoke. Because that's just going to make things easier. So sometimes even the bow and arrow ones, the archers, bow and arrow ones, <laughs> the archers can use a sword. 
So they, they do have a, a bit of a swingy rhythm to them. It's it's quite easy to get into once you're fighting one. They're not particularly difficult at all. But there is one of these here as, as well. So you just quickly run around the corner, you'll be able to get them. And a Mibu Balloon of Wealth, I'm sure that was worth it. Uh, you do get quite a lot of XP and Sen in this area now, and uh, scrap and things like that. So it's, it's good for farming. But uh, it's not going to be the farming place that we use. That will be in the next video. There's a pretty decent place. We'll go and get this one on the bridge because they are guarding a lump of grave wax, which is a, a rarer material. No matter how hard you try, you cannot stealth up on this one. It's just not this straight away they see you. So get ready for a bit of a fight. They do bounce all over the place and then they come in doing this, which is pretty cool because you can uh, parry it quite easily. The grave wax that was worth it and there's a new type of dog in this area which is a, a lightning dog but they are just as easy to kill as the regular dogs with shurikens so have those ready uh, yeah just don't go bother taking them on they're not fun so always be looking for them they are quite camouflaged here especially when they're in the blossom there are a couple of guys on the roof here so we're just going to ignore those for a moment uh, there's three dogs in here, and in the corner here is one of those uh, blue professors, let's call them. <laughs> I think they're wearing some sort of motorboard. Well, it looks like it. No, it's not, is it? <laughs> what is this? A mini, yeah, Japanese hat. I don't know the name of that type of hat. So, yeah, watch out for them. Sneaky, sneaky around here. I can't seem to get these dogs. There are more are going to come in from the left and there's some more to the left of me directly as well it's better just to do this area slowly safe than sorry and all that I'm trying to find my way back onto this roof I usually jump straight onto it we've come down for the, uh, the dogs first Yeah, also, do not go into the big lake ahead of you. Yes, we can go in and swim around, and it's fine, and we will be in there later on. I can't make the, can't find the roof. It's behind me in the corner. I'll get it in a moment. Um, yes, the water. It, the, for a start, there's a huge carp in there, which is not the problem. The main problem is actually the, the fact there's a guy who shoots lightning into it, so we have to go all the way around. There we go, idiot. Made it. Um... All the way around and kill him before we can get into the lake. So there's a few guys up here. One kneeling down. The other one will probably see you. A couple of guys. Our girls, actually. I think they're all female. I say guys. I don't mean it in the gender way. I mean it in the, the goony way. So yeah, they uh, watch out for those. And you've got these three down here. And that's this little bit done. And we've got a, a shrine coming up, so we're safe. Don't have to do that ever again. So yeah, we are skirting all the way around the, the lake, essentially, to kill one easy little boss type thing. It's more of a basic enemy with a boss name or health bar. So what I'm going to do here, actually, is I'm going to rest, uh, get everything right. I can't actually get it. It's three, isn't it? I need to spend on that one. And then I'm going to do a backup save. And I, if you can, I'd advise you do the same, just in case anything goes wrong in this area, because there's a bit. It's a bit of a puzzle almost. Uh, there's lots of these guys, so you can see that this is what they do. They kind of use that flute to stun you and remove all your health. It's a, a typical from software <laughs> enemy that you hate. They've been in all games. But these ones are actually quite easy to deal with. So there's an old woman here. You can speak to her several times. She'll tell you about her... I think it's her son... Father. It can't be a son. Son? Father? Father. And then the, you can see this, they're all over the place. Do not run into the middle. We're going to have to skirt round, pick them all off in a, a certain order so we're not seen. If you are seen, run away. Uh, sort of the, the way we've come to... Uh, 
de-aggro them all. So there's one on the bridge here, you just need to wait for him to turn around, there we go. And then we can get this one over here, and then go straight for the item, walk straight towards the, the water. So the other one can't see you, because he's going to keep turning around on that bridge. And no, we can't just take the rooftops, unfortunately. That would make life a lot easier. So once he's turned around, just go, 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 go. Obviously don't run. And there's going to be some enemies to the left now, but go via the right. Uh, just watch, there's a group of three that may come from the right here in the corner. Uh, you should be at this point. I think they sort of start as you walk towards them anyway. They're not properly pathing at this point. So get this one here. There will be one of those ones ahead, so just run slightly to the left. And wait till he stops blowing his flute. <laughs> and then just run around the corner and take care of him. Now there is a mini boss on the other side of this wall. It's another one of those bulls. Um, we're not going to deal with it yet, so don't jump out the window. Yellow gunpowder, that's going to come in handy. You'll hear it knocking about. It's outside, so don't worry about it yet. So there's going to be a group of three that are walking around. There's one of the, uh, the flute ones and two of the other ones. So if you pull yourself up here straight away, keep low, and we'll just wait for them to pass. We'll drop down and do a blood smoke to take care of the two uh, regular-ish enemies. Oh yeah, don't go out the window. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for him to go around the corner a little bit. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't get behind him, which didn't work very well. So I've got to watch out here because that blue one has seen me, so I've got to force through. You can see there he's shooting that terror at me. And yes, there we go, done. So they are, hopefully you get it easy. If you can blood smoke all three, then obviously do that. And then drop into this central room. There's another one here. Oops, a bit loud there. <laughs> A clumsy samurai. Grave wax. Gonna come in handy. There's gonna be a new uh, material we'll find in this area as well called fulminated mercury. I don't think we have any yet. Uh, just take it slowly, slowly. Even though I'm running, I do know it's clear here. Divine confetti, which we can buy an infinite amount of at this point, so we're not too bothered about that anymore. It used to be coveted. It's not too bad now. So there's a couple in the middle. You don't particularly need to worry about those. It's the ones to the left of this guy so you need, you need to worry about. So kill him and then quickly run away the back way you came. There's going to be one that follows you with a spear or halberd or whatever it is. Yeah, he's, he's going to follow you. It's, they're not too bad. Uh, they do have a, um, a red kanji attack that you need to use from the air. So they'll jump and you'll need to use the Makiri counter while they're in the air. They're, again, they're quite easy once they get into this rhythm to, to block. Uh, they do have a spin attack you need to worry about, where you can just jump on the head like a Goomba <laughs> and do uh, quite a lot of positive damage that way. An alternative would be to use the Shuriken on that guy, but we're going to use it in a minute. We want to make sure we have some. So we need Blood Smoke here. And that's going to help us get rid of these two. The other two shouldn't hear all this. And then we are almost complete in this puzzle. Got some scrap. And over here in the chest you've got some more divine grass. It's just another one. Like the, the, like the Jizu, Jizo statues. All over the place again. Uh, it's just one of those items I always forget. I think I'll oh, save that for a special occasion. And just never use. But obviously... Uh, Tough boss fights coming up. Well, not really tough, but last boss fights coming up. Um, you may want to consider using them in the final fights because that's quite a long one. Not in this video, in the, the playthrough, I mean, a couple of videos' time. So those two are done. Go for the one on the right first. And then you got. This is a bit, again, a bit of a little puzzle here. So get this one with a shuriken. Four, five should do. One's going to come at you with a spear. Do not go chasing into him, though. Yeah, I think I'd try and do a Makiri counter 
when it's not here. Yeah, it's not. Jump over that. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it goes a bit of a mess, this one. Yeah, so in the air there. I missed it again, but he fell on his ass, or she did. So uh, that's good enough. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be done. So quickly run in. Oh, that was close. Quickly run in and uh, get them. Probably don't skirt around them, just run straight in. And then come back and go under here. And we are going to be getting a lot of carp scales. We're actually going to get the rest of the 42 available per playthrough in this video. So there's three in here. And then we have Water of the Palace, which leads to another five. So we're going to go and give this to a uh, an NPC shortly. Uh, a guy we've seen in Miwi Village that was kind of in the corner of a hut drinking stuff. Uh, he has it, and then he changes, and they can kill him. And he gives you five scales. Oh, can't swim anymore. The reason we are finding all the carp scales in this playthrough is so we don't have to mess about in the next one. There's 42 per playthrough. Um, and, yeah, we need to spend... Uh, 12 plus some other things that we've been buying uh, per playthrough. So it's 12 in this playthrough, 12 in the next for uh, the rarest upgrade material, Lapis Lazuli, uh, which we'll be getting later on. So that's the main reason, so we don't have to mess around in New Game Plus. Now sit at the shrine, get the Divine Confetti, and then we're going to go and do a little bit of a boss fight here. Well, it is a boss fight. The Sakura Bull of the Palace. There's a couple of guys, whoops, guys, girls, up here. So that one, don't go for this one, go for the one on the far roof. Uh, to clear them out. Now the bull is below where they are. So if it does see you, which I think it does in a moment with me, maybe... Or I, no, I clear it and then it's after I do the backup save. So you are going to want to go and do one. I was going to go and kill this one, but I actually backed away uh, and thought, no, we'll try something. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, I'm just going to do a backup save. I'm going to use Puppeteer on it and see if it helps against the bull. Uh, it does not, really. <laughs> uh, so you can use it. Yeah, yeah, it might do better for you. It probably won't. So I'm just going to switch to Puppeteer. Uh, with the bull, you can use the... Tanto, if you're worried about running out of uh, firecrackers, but that's basically all you need is firecrackers and just follow it around, hitting it in the ass like we did with the other one. To me, use puppeteer and then don't walk to the edge like I do. It's actually still off to the left, it's not revealed itself yet. You need to, yeah, go around the corner. So if it does see you like this, then uh, run away to de -aggro it because we are going to be able to do a death blow on it. It's not going to kill it, but it's going to do just under half damage. So let it de -aggro and then look over the edge for it. There we go. Lock on, jump, and kill. So yeah, what is that? It's about third, actually, isn't it, health-wise? And then, uh, yeah, it's the same as the other one, basically. Uh, it's very, very similar. Just use firecrackers. Uh, I do use, uh, did use um, Mortal Draw. Completely blanked on all these names. I can't remember. Uh, it's probably not best. Just save for firecrackers. Because apparently they don't do anything. What the hell was that? Why didn't my firecrackers do anything then? I think I forget. I've just seen that item then when I'm watching. Uh, I think I might have forgotten to get that. But yeah, basically just follow this bull around. Uh, hitting in the ass. And don't get trapped in a corner like this, really. If you do, use some firecrackers if they're going to work for you. And uh, do a bit of damage. Obviously, damage to the head is best. But you don't want to be near the head either. <laughs> so it's a bit of a catch-22 here. Yeah, I think I did forget to pick up that item in the corner. It's nothing important, I know that, but it's going to be worth grabbing for you. Because I was uh, concentrating on the ones, there's some others behind it that we need. So just keep going, just keep slashing, go, 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 go. <laughs> there. Uh, yeah, I got it. The idea is to get it mad so it hits its head like the first one, but I got its health all the way down at this point. Probably because of the death blow. 
and you'll get a prayer bead and a beast's karma, which uh, gives you one extra spirit emblem you can hold, so now 20 max. Yeah, I forgot it as well. I'm looking at it right there. Did I forget to grab all of them? I did. What an idiot. There, see, I was overthinking, thinking what I need to do next. So there was that item, and then go around the corner. I'll come back in the next uh, video and grab those. But there's a few interesting things around the corner as well. <sighs> yeah, what an idiot. See, this happens sometimes when I'm concentrating on what the main thing I need to do next. But uh, luckily, I always pick them up in this replay. So, teleport here to the Mibu village. And we're going to go backwards. It's easier to do this slowly around here. We're going to see this guy in the hut. I'm going to give him the, uh, the water that we got. These are just one hit, so don't get caught in the death blows. Just one hit them and back away. Suck up all the goodies. Lots of nice stuff here. Oh, look at that. Fat wax and everything. go back through here. I'm going to skip through the dialogue uh, but essentially just keep talking to him. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Blah, 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 blah. Until you get the option to give him the water. There we go. So give him the water of the palace. And he actually gives you, I think, Dragon, uh, Dragon Spring Saki in return. Which is just one of those drinks you can give to certain NPCs to hear more. Not something we've been doing. And we'll go all the way back. And just rest here and then go back to see him again. Uh, I know I do have a lot of Sen building up here. You're probably in the same boat. Uh, obviously you can, whenever, just deviate and buy stuff. Uh, buy the, um, the purses. But we're going to go and do a bunch of upgrades shortly. Oh, a little bit quick there. I would say skip these guys and just run straight for it, but they do drop some pretty good uh, good stuff if you're lucky, so maybe don't because they're easy enough to kill. Just need to watch for the old woman in this one. And apparently this guy with the shovel or the, the hoe. Got fat wax again, look at all of that. And then there's gonna it's going to have turned into one of those red nobles. Just kill him. I know he doesn't look, he looks innocent at that point, but if you suck this up, you'll get uh, five carp scales there from him. And no, you know you can't leave that way. What are you doing? And then uh, we'll run back, and at this point, we're going to go and do some upgrades. So we're going to go back to the uh, dilapidated temple. just to use the money up more than anything uh, obviously we do need them all so uh, at this point just whichever you want I, I don't really use the variations of them I probably should and experiment more but I I don't feel like I need to <laughs> um, so there's a lot of them are just kind of like the one where you throw money uh, things like that that you're just not going to use really there's probably some good ones in there, so if you want, mess around, experiment, but for the most part, the standard stuff is fine. So just use your money up. Like the umbrellas, the purple umbrella is good for the, the death status, the terror one. But dodging works just fine and learning boss patterns is probably the best thing you can do <laughs> than worry about which tools you have where. So I've got Virtuous Deed now uh, which will help a bit more with scent and item drops uh, later on. Um, might as well start it now. If Again, if you are struggling, go a different route have a look. Uh, and then we're going to teleport back to Fountain Palace and do not run across the bridge for the obvious reason that you've just seen. Uh, and now we're a bit more open and freer 
uh, to move around. We're not stuck. We can go up in the trees and things like that. So I'm going to drop down over here. Uh, we're just actually going to do a quick sweep of the water. There's water river that runs underneath here. Uh, there's a few items, but there's dogs. We want to just clear out a couple in particular. So there's going to be one here to the left. Um, the shurikens are fine, or oh, apparently not. No need to go up there yet. Just keep running across the front. And there's going to be a couple up here. Uh, because there is going to be a fight, a Shichiman warrior, Shichiman warrior, something like that. Uh, and these two are around the corner from it. So do not carry on up there. Do not, because these, he's up there. We don't want to fight him just yet. Um, you don't want those to join in the fight, basically. So we're just going to clear them out of the way now. And then we get rid of these two. There's a heavy coin purse up here, which is nice. Uh, this is the tree we ultimately need to get to the top of. The the guy who's got... I forgot an item there. I just saw it. <laughs> God. It's rushing through because I knew time was going to be tight on this one, on this video. I know there's certain parts where I shouldn't have been waiting around for enemies to move around, but that cannot be avoided sometimes. A lot to remember. In an hour's worth of gameplay like this, you wouldn't really think it, but uh, there can be a lot of pieces... Yeah, like now, don't go up here on this rooftop. Go round this building. And there's a couple of trees off to the left. Uh, just go there and um, pull yourself up and get this one over here to the left first. So you don't have to just wait for them to de-aggro like I have to do now. See, this is the time. I hate wasting the time waiting for things to happen like this. They're not de-aggroing. Come on. Yeah, they kick, um, sort of, I don't know what they are doing, they're kicking footballs at you essentially. So yeah, you can just drop, or not even drop, go walk around, you've got the two branches here, pull yourself up behind this one, get this one first, and then go for the other one on the, the roof. That's the clever way to do it, and not the stupid way, like that. <laughs> I've just remembered. Can't go up to the left yet, so don't worry about that. Uh, but now we're just going to go on all the sort of different levels of this area, uh, killing enemies as we go. Go up here to the left first. Stay low. You can actually pull up your, yourself up to that broken part over there. Uh, but you, you're all right coming this way as well. They won't see you, weirdly. <laughs> go for the one on the left first. The other one's an archer, so it's not too bad. Apparently, I can't get close to him though. Nope, they're dead. That was a weird one. And then we'll get these two at the front. Unfortunately, because there is so much farming and we need so much Sen and XP, it's just not worth skipping all the enemies because you might as well enjoy it. Murder. <laughs> Enjoy the murder. Yeah, these football ones, just run into them and kill them as quickly as possible. So you don't have to deal with them. From a distance, I mean, because they are pretty damn good shots. We'll uh, get up there. There we go, get up this way. It's just a quick item. Go can sugar. It's not like we need it anymore because we do have the spirit falls. We'll be getting the last one of those as well uh, if you are using those. Don't have to worry about sugar anymore. So I'm going to drop down to the lowest part now. So there's a few dogs down here, a couple of them. Weirdly, that just... Sometimes the shuriken is just odd how it doesn't... It hits, but it doesn't do anything. So you're okay to drop down here, because you can just pull yourself back up. Just looking for the extra dogs, see if there are any. Uh, but we did clear some out earlier, so we should be fine. Now there's a couple of guys pathing down below here, so just dropping down here is not very clever. Watch where they are first. 
uh, obviously use blood smoke on them they'll path all the way underneath here and emerge on the other side so you can actually drop from the other side if you wish oh no didn't get the lock on properly couldn't see him punish me for that no I no <laughs> yeah though we're not messing around here we'll give you a bit of mortal draw yeah so there's the football one over here as well it's best just to go high if you can can't get on there we go and then lock onto the one that isn't a football one and do him her them yeah, they do bounce about a bit, but as long as you just run in and attack, you'll be fine. Uh, just don't let them get away from you. Yeah, and I think the one over there has seen me, or is definitely wary of me, which is odd, because I do get spotted here, which is really strange, because I'm far away. I know I'm running, but there are ones that are closer that didn't see me. I guess they have better vision than others. So I'm trying to diagro now, because I want to... Uh... Yeah, this isn't working... See how good a shot they are. So I'm going to have to take the rooftops and uh, start this little bit again, which is fine. Which is just one of the best parts of the game, really, is that you can just run away. <laughs> and everything goes back to normal. So we'll get the two at the back first. This is the way I wanted to do it anyway. Because these have some, these have spears, and you do not want to be dealing with multiple of these. I know they've been, they've looked pretty easy up to this point, um, but multiples of them is just not fun at all. Bouncing all over the place. So that's why we're taking our time. So there's one that's going to path. You can see them. Uh, it's best to get the football one in the middle first, And then jump onto the other one. I do miss the death blow. Firecrackers, just in case anything goes wrong. I was going to go for that one first, but no. This one does hear you. This one first. And then, if you, you could actually sneak around, rather. I'm trying to get the death blow jump, but it did not work at all. But we'll let Mario Goomba jump them instead. <laughs> that worked out. That happens, it's... Uh, I've explained that, yeah, way back. I'm just thinking, yeah, we have used that before, the Goomba jump. It happens whenever the, anything spins or it does a kind of kanji attack where you can't parry it with me, uh, the Makiri counter. Uh, you get that kind of blast of um, posture damage. There's a few down here. One, two, three, some... Balloons of possession. We do not need that. I mean, we will when we farm. We'll use them all when we're farming. Oh, God, the farming. Um, it's not as bad as DS3. Or is it Dark Souls 3, if you've done that? No, it's not. It's the same place over and over again, but it's nowhere near as bad. Because we're not looking for certain things. We're just after XP. And then down here is going to be our boss fight, the Sichiman Warrior. So do a backup save if you're able to. Uh, this is why we cleared the dogs out as well, because off to the right-hand side, this Sichiman Warrior, exactly the same as the others, uh, will go across both lengths of the arena, as you will, uh, if you will. Uh, so you need Divine Confetti and the Mottled Gourd. And um, yeah, that's it. And then it's the normal. It's exactly the same. Uh, on the first one, uh, don't forget that we do have that ability to uh, run in and do uh, uh, jump in. Sorry, and do a whole death blow if you're able to. If they take it, take to the air. So do watch out for that charge attack. Obviously, they're just going to keep uh, doing that, moving from both of the this point and the first point. Uh, at this point, there we go. We've got the jump. Here is where the dogs will attack if we hadn't cleared them out. So obviously, you don't want to deal with those at the same time. And then, uh, yeah, just back and forth, back and forth, and uh, do the usual. Nowhere near as bad. After fighting the headless, these guys do not seem anywhere near as bad. I know I'm getting the hits in here, or getting hit, should I say, but I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible before the Divine Confetti runs out. 
uh, using that old L1R1 that I do enjoy. Uh, yeah, you can actually give it a moment before running after them. But do watch out, they'll probably double beam you. Which is not a bad thing, as long as you can get behind them. No. That wasn't a very long one. Yeah, with here, because it is quite tight, do stick to one side before moving across. No, oh, we're nearly there, and you had to hit me with your bloody staff. Right, there we go. And this one's going to give us our first of six Lapis Lazuli, uh, which we need ten of, and is the reason we why we need to come into New Game Plus so deep. We need to come to this point again in New Game Plus. Sorry. But we're going to be taking the most direct route. We're not doing any side bits, you know, the, just stuff that we don't need to do. You'll be surprised at how much we actually can just miss how quick we can be. New Game Plus is actually quite easy compared to New Game. Um, there are going to be some bosses we need to redo. Obviously, some of the tougher ones we need to redo. But we do need to break and do a backup save in the middle of New Game Plus to get some bosses out of the way for that trophy. Because there is a trophy tracking all the bosses that we kill. I'm trying to find my way up. Here we go. Um... There is a trophy for killing every boss in the game, major boss in the game, uh, and there are two that are tied to the other ending, which obviously we do need to do for the ending itself. Uh, so that's why we've got to do a little break, backup save. I'll tell you an alternative once we get to that point. If you can't do backup saves, it'll essentially mean going into a third playthrough, which is not terrible. Um, I mean, you'll be getting XP along the way, so your XP farm will be shorter. So it's a good way of looking at it. Now, there is this is a weird thing here. So there's a branch here you can see that you should be able to um, pull yourself towards. If it doesn't appear for you like it hasn't for me, don't worry. We'll come back um, and we'll do it shortly. But, uh, yeah, it, I don't know why it hasn't appeared. It When I go back to it again later on as well, it still doesn't appear. And I have to kind of move around and it's weird. So we'll come back to that in a minute, uh, but it leads to another one of those pot nobles, which is where you spend your scales. Uh, these two enemies are a bit strange in that they kind of appear, but not appear. They're, I don't know, there's a bit of a, a code that makes them just appear and run towards you. They're not uh, stationary, they're just there to come running at you and uh, run you down. So try and draw the one with the sword away from the one with the bow. And do a better job of parrying than I did. There is some pellets behind me. Uh, an item which I do forget. I'll get those after, but it's only pellets, so who the hell cares. That's a pretty cool block, I must say. You can do that. A little sliding block. Right, that looks fun. So, there are five enemies down there. But we have blood smoke, which is fun. So I'm just going to jump up here and kill these two, just in case uh, you need to run away from those four. You may be tempted to run around the back here, and obviously these four, uh, these two are here, uh, and you don't want those shooting at you as well. So uh, you don't technically, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to see it there now. Uh, you don't technically need to kill these five. You can just run. For the, uh, you can see it over there in the distance. You can run for the shrine if you wish, but it's always fun if you're able to chain blood smokes together, which I do to some degree of success. This third one gets just, you see, the little back step there, which is not cool. Um, you can do them in the order. I just wanted to get rid of the, the heavier spear ones first, which was a bit of a problem there. Um, so I wasn't able to chain the blood smokes as efficiently as I want, or kill them as efficiently as I wanted by chaining. So now we have to deal with the purple guy who does the lightning, um, which is not a problem, honestly. Yeah, just back away. <laughs> Don't try and uh, take them on. Weirdly has the same attack as the uh, one of the final bosses. Or oh, Jinichiro as well has it. It does have that. It does have that attack. Doesn't it? Yeah, that's two Ichiro's attack. They're actually not too bad when you pin them in a corner like this. They just bounce around like an idiot. <laughs> uh, they do an occasional swing, but mainly they just bounce around. It's 
so you can go in and uh, kill them quite efficiently. Well, that's all they really drop is the Saki, so you can just avoid them. I mean, it's good for a bit of uh, scrap and XP and Sen and all that, so if you want to, do it. If you don't, don't. It's up to you. Right. Boss fights times, plural. I've got a couple doing now. Uh, this Akami leader, Shizu, um, is the one that's been stopping us going into the water. So I'm just going to deal with them. I did rest here, because we're not going to go back, so it's fine. Uh, I'll do a backup save, because we're going to do two bosses in quick succession here. One of them is a headless, which can you can die to fairly easily uh, if you're not careful. But uh, here, if you take some eel liver, um, you can parry lightning attacks. Now this one, is, it, it, de it depends. Sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't. This time they did, but I was too close. Basically, jump in the air, press L1 to parry it, and then R1 to return it. Didn't do it. It's fine. Um, you need to do it before you hit the ground, the return, that is. Uh, but as long as you get to them, that's why we took the heal liver. Just get to them and kill them, and that is that done. <laughs> that was easy enough. But they were the reason we couldn't go into the water, because they keep shocking the water and killing us. And now we are free to do so. So, get those the big coin purse over there. Come up here, we'll speak to the old woman afterwards. Uh, divine Confetti, I'm pretty sure you don't need Divine Confetti for this headless. You can just do them without. But swim all the way down into the water, and you can see there's a white dot there. This headless has a spirit friend. The actual headless is to the right of me. Uh, we're going to take care of this one first, because it's just going to make life easier. So you can get rid of them pretty quickly. I did get hit there. The other one's getting me. So just kill this one quickly. So that's why we have the uh, the confetti on. And then it's a normal underwater headless fight at this point. Which is mm, not the best. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. I was expecting to lose one. Messing around trying to get the, second, the, the other one out of the way. And then, yeah, it's exactly the same. It'll do the horrible sort of charge attack there. Which is good for us because we can get some damage in. It'll keep doing that sweep. I know I get greedy with the hits here, and it does nearly come to the, to my death again. But do watch out for the sweep. Stay close so it doesn't start doing that stupid hair attack. And you can see my um, it's worn off. The confetti's actually worn off. I'm doing a fair amount of damage still. But uh, there we go. That's the last spirit fall. So you have them all now. If you are using those. And with regards to enemies and fighting. We are I would say pretty much done at this point. The last 20 minutes or so here. Is going to be swimming. And finding carp scales. And doing little bits here and there. Uh, getting some lapis lazuli. And, and things like that. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So, over this point, you may see the large carp. It swam away underneath the water there. But we're going to clear this lake now. Getting lots of carp scales and other bits. Um, yeah. It's it's quite large, this place, obviously, you can see. So, there is... Yep, yeah, don't want to lock onto him. I want to lock onto this treasure carp. And then run or swim. Dash is the word I'm looking for. In. Kill it. If you don't, it will respawn quite quickly. Here's some precious bait. Make sure you grab some precious bait. We do need at least one. So we are done. We're clear. And now we're going to go swim back to that main deep pit. Uh, there are some regular carp knocking about. So if you do see them, just kill them so they don't chase after you and uh, annoy you. But there are a couple of treasure carp at, oh Christ. <laughs> at this depth as well. Or roughly. Yeah, you can see they've just appeared. I don't know if I'm going to get it. No, I won't be able to get that one. So with these two, um, because there is obviously we can't corner them, what you can do is swim up from underneath. Oh, I got lucky there. You can swim up from underneath and, uh, and get them. So just watch for them appearing. Get these out of the way. So there's two here. So try to <laughs> remember there's a lot of carps we'll be killing here. So I'm going to swim down a bit. And just wait for it to reappear. Come on. There we go. 
and go. Because you swim from underneath, it kind of doesn't know which way to go sometimes. It makes it a little bit easier. Rather than charging at it from a direction, it knows, obviously, I need to go that way. It's chasing me. Or he. Whatever. Anyway, uh, precious bait. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. Precious bait. So we have two. We only need one. That's fine. And then we have three. Because there's another one down here. But we're going to be feeding that huge carp. We're going to be feeding it. We need to feed it twice. Uh, we need to feed it with a precious bait. And then with a truly precious bait. Uh, here's a dead one. But uh, what... It's... I mean, there's lots of nice stuff here, apart from horrible maggots. So we've got two carp scales and a prayer bead. Uh, I do actually have, we have uh, a, a cluster of four. This is a fifth one now. Uh, we'll do it shortly. Uh, but yeah, next time you get to a uh, shrine, just do that. We got it from the, the lightning guy. So coin purse. And then... We're going to swim up. I'm going to swim up, 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 all the way up, so we can get apparently, so we can get our bearings back, because it is a bit of a mess down there. So right, we're in the water, still. <laughs> we know that much. So head for that tree where the uh, the lightning guy was on, and then follow it towards where we fought the bull. So there are some uh, some more carp knocking about here. Get rid of those. And then down here is a red lump. So if you haven't fought uh, our father yet, then I did say you could do it later on. You can lump, uh, red lump there if uh, if you need it. Yeah, how far you'll need to do in the next video, uh, at the end of that one, basically, if you haven't done it yet. Litecoin purse and scrap. And then we're going to come back up so you can get bearings again, or roughly. You can see where we are. There's that building um, where the shrine is. And then we'll swim back into the main part of the lake. And we're looking for some more treasure carp. Regular carp, don't want those. Don't want following us though either. It's so goofy trying to fight the carp in here. <laughs> Just kind of swing and hope for the best. Right, you can see there's a couple of carp here, but we do have some reeds as well, which you can use to your advantage. Uh, if you know where they're going to spawn in, you can wait in the reeds and um, and just yeah, get them. So that can be uh, an advantage. This one hasn't been seen me yet. The other one has disappeared now. It's going behind the rock. Are we going to get it? Yes. So we've just got to wait for the other one to spawn back in. There we go. Upon, yeah, hiding the weeds or the reeds, whatever they are. It's going to be easy. If you hide right here in this lot, be pretty close to where it spawns in. Like, very close. <laughs> that makes life easier, doesn't it? Okay, just to give you uh, a whereabouts, we are at the start of the area. And we're just going to come up here. So that's a, a regular enemy seeing me there. It's not a fish this time. Some scrap in here. In we go for some more carp hunting. We are nearly done, I promise. <laughs> These two are a bit of a pain as well. Hiding in the reeds, you've got to watch for the, where they spawn in. This one does take a moment. Again, I hate waiting around and stuff like this. I know I could cut it out, but if I start doing that, it might disorientate where we actually are. I don't want you uh, losing <laughs> position or anything. Did we get this one? Uh, yeah, we got that one. So, yeah, you can see 
Uh, we're getting three scales. It's not from one fish here. Uh, I'm going to just try and... Uh, I'm waiting for the one to spawn in. But while I'm waiting... Oh, no, he's back. Yeah, I was looking for him again. But he hadn't spawned in yet. We'll have one attempt. Which doesn't go very well. I don't know how he's seen me. He's right there. How the hell? Oh, come on. I shouldn't have seen me then. But anyway, there's three carp scales under here. And then we'll go and get this, uh, this bloody last one. Come on! Yeah, we'll go from this direction then. Maybe that will give us more luck. That's a good job we don't have a an air bar, an oxygen bar. Okay, right. <sighs> All the fish are dead. So look for the uh, the breakage there, and then head towards this way, and you'll get a lump of grave wax. This is the uh, the building the old woman's on. So we've done a full circle. So you can just go and speak to her if you wish and get uh, up to speed on what's going on. Not that she tells you too much. Uh, it's about the big carp, really. So speak to her. And it's the storyline that uh, we're going through. Uh, I, I do a backup save here. It's not essential, but because there's a bit of a stealth section with the huge carp coming up, if you want to, just do one just to be safe. It really is an essential there. But yeah, as you come down here, quickly swim into this building. It's a bit like the snake. It's the same sort of premise here. Uh, you can actually go for this next building now. Um, I waited and I thought it was coming straight back. But you can actually go right now. I, just, I could have sworn it came straight back in my, uh, in my practice. But you swim to the building. Of, you'll see it in a moment. to the right hand side so we're just kind of uh, back and forth across the area to get to the end but once he's uh, swam away a bit just go for it once you're in these buildings you're alright and then wait for him to swim even further away and go for this last building Last safety building, anyway. And then you've got the main building, which is directly ahead of us. You can see the broken window. Just go for it once it turns around. And swim down. And then <laughs> up. Not up, then down. And that's that little bit done. We're now on the other side. So, yes, you can see Gourd Seed number 9 of 9. Final Gourd Seed is coming up. So we'd never have to deal with any of that ever again. Because we've locked, uh, unlocked this one. I'm going to unlock the doors here as well. So in here it's dark. You can just make out a few. There's, there's one, two, three. And then there's a couple on the stairs up here. Four and five. And then in here is God Seed number nine. And now we'll do a... Uh, a bit of uh, sort of clean up and get some uh, more lapis lazuli. Lazuli? Yeah, I think that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> Open this set of doors here, and that's going to lead us back to those stairs. Now, we don't ever have to kill those nobles that were in that dark place ever again. The old woman is good because we've opened the doors up. Every time you spawn in or sit at that shrine, she's going to kill them. Uh, so. Or it may be permanently after the first time, I forget. But we're going to try doing this jump again now. And uh, again, it's still... I'm right there. Like, Come on. Come on. There. So maybe just see... Yeah, there we go. So maybe what I need is to do was look at that other one. But yeah, you can see there's no reason for it not to appear. But uh, there we go. 
There's a few geckos here, so just watch out for them. Yeah, they just stay away from what they spit at you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, down here. So this is the area on the far. There's another one somewhere. I don't know where it is. On the far left hand side that we couldn't get to. This is that area now. Yeah, don't drop off the edge. Drop here. And uh, we have another shrine. And another pot noble. Uh, the second pot noble who's kind of in rivalry with the first one in the Harata estate in some sort of way. I don't know. Anyway, go speak to him. And he's going to take some more carp scales off our hands. The lapis lazuli. We need both of these. So buy uh, both of them. That's 12 scales. The mask is something we don't ever need to worry about, unfortunately. It's quite good, but we don't ever need to worry about it. You cash in uh, five skill points for uh, more damage. Now, if you want to do that, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to say don't buy it. Don't do that because you don't want to waste this carp scales. Uh, yeah, forget about that. Forget about the mask entirely. It's we need the skill points anyway. Keep talking to this pot noble, accept his quest, and he's going to give you that truly precious bait. Now, you can do this with either of the pot nobles. We're just going to do it with this one because it's easier, and then keep talking to him. Basically, want, as long as you got the bait off him, you're fine. And uh, yeah, either of the pot nobles will give you this truly precious bait, and the one that gives it you will die, but it doesn't matter if you haven't bought everything from him because the his inventory just goes to the other one. So you know the one at the beginning of Harata Estate? Um, you can do it with him as well. We just do it for him because he's got a, a thing right next to him. So we're just going to go over here and get a trophy. We're going to get that final Gourd Seed. Uh, give that into Emma. And we're going to get Ultimate Healing Gourd. And then we'll see what upgrades we can do over here. If you are able to get to one of the last ones now that you have some lapis lazuli, lazuli, yeah, <laughs> it just sounds weird. It doesn't sound like I'm saying it right. Uh, probably not, but yeah, these last upgrades all take it. Uh, we need ten in total to get all those last upgrades. If you're able to do one of them, then fine, you will get a trophy. Uh, but I, I can't do yet because uh, lots of stuff needed to do those. But we'll take care of all of that at the end of the New Game Plus playthrough when we're doing all the farming and tidying up. Once we have all ten of the lapis. So do the necklace now, now that I've remembered. Uh, how many skill points do we have? We don't have enough yet. I'm going to go for that next one up at the top. You can also go for the other. It's the other path that leads to Mortal Draw, the better Mortal Draw, which I'll probably work on after getting the next um, upgrade for uh, Sen and uh, item drops. You can see now that she's killed them all. I think it's, I think they actually stay dead as well. And then this will lead to the final boss of this area, but we're not going to do him uh, now. What we are going to do is uh, Kill the big carp, sadly. Or not sadly, depending on your <laughs> outlook on fish, I suppose. <laughs> uh, so pull yourself up onto this roof. And then fall off the edge like this. No, don't fall off the edge like that. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. Uh, no, jump across and grab onto this tree. That's the better way to do it. Yeah, then the final boss of this area, I, the, I was thinking about doing it, but it really would have took the, the, the video into sort of hour and a half territory. So we are going to do that in the next video when we're doing a, a big clean up, lots of bosses in the next one, lots of side bosses um, and everything. Get all those uh, prayer beads and um, a particularly difficult boss as well, but we are going to going to cheese it. Usually I don't put those in guides, but uh, it's the game, what is the game? Nearly five years old and they still haven't removed it, so we're going to use it. It's a big sort of section, this, this area, but there isn't really much to see or do. 
maybe drop down from the left hand side after and clear it but there, I don't think there is anything that's what I'm trying to remember at this point is there actually anything worth going for on the left hand side I don't think there is I do have a quick look there's something at the end of the bridge but item wise I don't think there's anything we need over there there's definitely nothing important because it's not in my notes but yeah, we want to drop down here, get to this next shrine. We'll go over there into the bridge. I was going to jump across now, but we'll do it in a minute. And we'll do this uh, this kind of finish this storyline off, get the last bunch of scales and things. So, rest there, go speak to this guy. This is the, the father of that old woman. So he will tell you that the best the, the bell must be rung. So do so. And then the big carp's gonna come for a feed in. Uh, feed him a uh, precious bait. So the one that we got from the bottom of the lake below where we are now. Just the precious one. Don't give it the truly precious one. Just the precious. My precious. No, I'm not gonna do impression. I can't do that one. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, and then speak to him again. And he's gonna be really excited. Or the, the bosses, and you're going to get another carp scale from him. And now we are going to kill the great coloured carp. So give it the truly precious bait. And this, you'll get the option here uh, for the pot noble, whatever his name was, I missed it there. Uh, that's him. Like I said, you can get it off both and choose. It doesn't matter, it's just one of them. The one that you do choose is going to die. And then we're going to rest. And then he's going to be fretting that his uh, his master's gone. Can't do anything just yet. So now we're going to go to one of the most random places you'd think to find the carp. And that is the Sunken Valley Guardian's Ape Watering Hole. Naturally, that's where the cart will be. It probably it will definitely lead there. It's a From Software game. I don't know how the path leads there. But there it is, the big carp. If you actually go to the bot, it's mid for, yeah, I'm not even trying. Uh, uh, shrine instead, you get a better view of the carp. It's actually quite cool to see. Uh, so the one before the guardian ape. So pick up that, you're gonna get the whisker, you're gonna get a trophy there as well for, for killing the carp. And then we're going to go and speak to this guy one final time, give him the whisker. He's going to say that his, uh, his master has passed on. He's grateful. He's going to give you some divine grass, which I personally will never use. Uh, and then we're going to do a final rest here. And now the master has been released because he has... Uh, sorry, the, the old man has been released because his master has died and he has nothing to do anymore. Uh, and this is the old woman, and that is that quest line complete. And now we're going to... While she's still mourning, hoover up or pillage his body for some more carp scale. And that is all of the carp scales in the game. Uh, so we don't need to worry about We have plenty for New Game Plus because we do have to come back and buy some. It's going to be the easier option. It's come back and buy some, uh, two of them. The, not the carp scales, sorry. The lapis is what we're trying to get hold of with the carp scales. Uh, so yeah, that, that's it for this side, I think. I don't remember there being... It feels like there should be some stuff here. But there just doesn't seem to be. Maybe I'm just blanking and it's up higher. But uh, it's not on the list. It's not important. It's fine. So now we're just going to teleport... Back to the shrine at the top, and that is... Uh, sorry, not to the shrine at the top. We're going to teleport back to the um, Pot Noble first. So, near the Pot Noble. He's now dead. All of his inventory has gone to the other one in Harata Estate, but he is going to give us a lapis as well. So that's number four. Two more in this playthrough from the same place later on, which we'll get in the next video. Uh, and that's where we'll pick this up. In the next one, um, uh, I'm just going to do some upgrades here. I think I get some. I've got enough to do that next um, one that I'm after. Where are we here? 
Yes, so that's that. And then I'm going to go on, uh, so that's the most virtuous deed. And then I'm going to carry on towards that better mortal draw and, yeah, ultimately just do what you want with these at this point. And, uh, yeah, but lots of bosses in the next video, so fun times ahead. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.